Anya Gasaya Yadavin, J. Edaman, Benis Omnida, Manasa Pangap Sumnida. Hello, everyone. My name is Beniswa. This is Invincible English. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you are here. Today is a viewer requested video, but it's also a teacher requested video. We're going to work on phonics. If you do not know what phonics is, please go back and watch my second video in which I talk about the resources that you can use to learn English like a native speaker. Before we get into the video, I do need you to do me a really big favor. Go ahead and click subscribe, turn on your notifications, and click like. When you click the like button, it lets me know that you're actually watching my videos. It's not hard, just go ahead and do it. <laughs> so let's get into the video. All right, everyone, I actually moved a little bit closer to the screen because it's really important for you to follow my mouth and I'll look at the position of my mouth. We're actually gonna start with the W sound. So the best way or the easiest way that I can teach you how to make the W sound is like you're kissing someone. Some people love to kiss. <laughs> so anytime you make the W sound, just think about kissing someone, someone that you may want to kiss, <laughs> your fantasy, your crush, whatever. So in order to make the W sound, you want to take your lips and you're going to squeeze them together and you're going to keep them nice and tight like this. So you're going to squeeze them together and make them nice and tight. Ooh. Now, when you make a sound, the sound is going to come from the back of your throat. You're just basically blowing air through that O sound, that tight O sound that you make. We call it also a pucker. So it's a type of a kiss, it's, or it's how you kiss. You first pucker, or you create the tension in your lips in order to make the sound. Ooh, ooh. So you see, when I relax my lips, in English, we use, we use our entire mouth, okay? And part of that too is, you know, sometimes there's tension and this lecture requires tension or to make something tight. Woo, woo. So let's practice a few words. What, when, where, why? Practice with me. What? When? Where? Why? Good job! Let's practice a few more words. Worm, wolf, window, whale, watermelon, walrus. Worm, wolf, window, whale, watermelon, walrus. Now we're going to practice the R sound. When we pronounce R's, it is just a relaxed form of the W sound. So we're still going to extend our lips, but we're not going to pucker, meaning we're not going to extend and make tight. We're going to keep them a little bit more relaxed and not extend our lips as much. So let's practice. Practice with me. Okay. Ra. 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 Let's try a few words. Run. Rain. Rose. Ride. Red. Let's try and practice a few more words. Rocket, 
rainbow, rabbit, rain, rose, rocket, rainbow, rabbit, rain, rose. All right, Yodavan, we're done. Yes, it was so easy to do this video today, wasn't it? Yeah, I know it was hard. <laughs> Don't worry, Conchaneo. I know, but you're gonna get it. Just keep practicing. If you check the description box, I am gonna include some links to words that you can practice that start with R and also start with W. So we're gonna have some R words and W words. Now, if you want me to listen to your pronunciation, you can reach out to me via Kaka Talk. For those of you guys who have my Kaka Talk ID, and if you don't, it's okay. Just leave me a message and say, hey, can you listen to my pronunciation? And I will send you a link uh, so that I can listen to your pronunciation. Okay? All right. So I will see you guys next time. But before you go, did you subscribe? Oh, awesome. Tell your friends to subscribe. Come back and watch my channels. Watch my other videos. They are full of information. I'll see you next time. Annyeong!